Catherine. Where do you think you're going? I don't think that's any of your business. If you're on your way up to see Bobby, it's my business. Look, I flew all the way up from Houston to see him. Houston? Yes. I bought Mama and Daddy's house. Fine. Then I suggest you get on the first plane back there. When did you appoint yourself Bobby's protector? I'm not. I just don't want you with him, and I'm sure Bobby doesn't want you either. Pam, you have no right to tell me what to do. I have every right. You're a troublemaker, Catherine, and Bobby's in no condition for your antics. I don't live by your rules. I'm a big girl, and Bobby's a free man. I have every right to see him. Doesn't it penetrate, Catherine, that he's very sick? Oh, he's not that sick. I called the hospital, and they told me he's recovering nicely. Did they tell you that he's blind? Blind? No, how? Does that matter to you? It happened when he was shot. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. Catherine, go back to Houston and stay out of our lives. Fresh coffee, Miss Wentworth. Oh, put it on the table, please, Bertha. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Don't you love those sounds? <laughs> yeah, I do. And we'll be back with more of the same right after a little news, a little weather, a little sports. Here's John Shaw. Good morning. This is John Shaw with the 10 o'clock news. There's been a new development in the Ewing shooting case in Dallas. A witness has come forward and stated to police that Cliff Barnes, the key suspect who is currently out on bail, was with her at the time of the shooting. A police spokesman has told us that it's now up to the district attorney's office to decide whether they have enough evidence to prosecute. Statements from the hospital indicate that the victim, Bobby Ewing, is making excellent progress and is expected to be released shortly. In other words... Is he asleep? Ah, uh, pretty close. That shot you gave really knocked him out. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Mr. Ewing. 